Good evening. Hi, good evening, it's Chair. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Well, it's very noisy around here. Don't know what's going on. People are celebrating something. Okay, we're going to get started. This is October the 4th. And we are on the second week of this. So we should be working on section two on the platform, right? As far as I'm concerned, should be working on the logistics unit already, unit two. And today's, I don't know what's going on with these people. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And we got the review. Okay. Let's see. Let's get started. Let me show. Yes, the official presentation for today's session. All right, this is intermediate four. This is the section number eight. And today's Wednesday, October the 4th. Intermediate four and October the 4th. All right, the reminders for your class attendance, for your class participation in the minimum time that you should be on the session, connected on the video conference. And the sessions 101 that no one is staying, by the way. Uh, well, the cameras and the microphones as well. Okay. The participation in the breakout rooms. That's also important. Well, we're continuing with the logistic. This is the second unit we are studying. And before anything else, without any further ado, let's have the attendance. Let me just grab. Let me see. Okay. Abigail. Atilio, Elizabeth. Good evening, present teacher. Good evening, Emerson. Fernando. Good evening. Good evening, Francisco. Hazel. Julissa. Carla. Luis, Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, none of them. Okay. Martin. Uh, Hello? You see me, teacher, present? Martin is out, right? 
Okay, present. All right, Manuel Alexander. No, Manuel not here. Marlene? Present. Okay, Mario Ernesto? Present. Roberto Saúl? Good evening, present teacher. Good evening, Ronald Alexander? Victor Noé? Vidal? Mm -hmm. Waldir? Present teacher. Hello, Carlos Alberto. Okay. Well, as a matter of fact, I've been, okay, Elizabeth Hernandez, let me see. Um, all right. Lourdes Hernandez, I guess, right? This Elizabeth. Okay. Yeah, so we're saying uh, I've been checking the material that you have on the platform, the material that you have on your manual on the PDF. Right. If definitely we have to get really range into the vocabulary and content about logistic, right? The term, the vocabulary, the meaning, definitions. So there's a lot of vocabulary related to business, okay? And the way they definitely move, transport the merchandise, right? So before we get into the vocabulary, because I was going to, let me see. I was going to share the screen from here. Good okay. evening, Hi, good evening. So we've been talking about this for a while. And the program suggests that we review, that we practice a lot of this vocabulary. But I think um, <clears throat> definitely for someone that is not in the area, probably doesn't sound very familiar, right? So we've been talking about this, the seven R's, the importance of the seven R's, and the introductory conversation, which was just this, right? So, uh. To continue because yesterday we were practically reviewing and building more vocabulary related to this we're going to have just a small break for you to have a conversation of any topic so this would be free topic conversation okay so the idea is that you start a conversation about anything not necessarily about the content, okay? So you can start uh, talking, describing anything related to your job, anything related to your day, anything related to asking your partners, probably get to know them because this is well, about their experiences and learn English as well, or how they plan to apply their knowledge if that's the case, but this is the idea, okay? To start having a conversation with someone uh, in a creative way and not related to the content or the vocabulary of logistic because we know that this is new terms, new term, I mean, new vocabulary in something that we must study. So now it's free. Free conversation, but having a conversation, okay? Because that's the idea that you communicate. Yes, uh, you already have the knowledge, but we are here just discussing or describing what we have on the manual. So now it's your opportunity to talk about something else. Hi, uh, Vidal. Okay, let's go.
down here. I don't hear the instruction. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Just talk, have a have a conversation about something now related to the to the topics. Just like practice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. the, it, it's like uh, we have to talk about uh, we have to talk about a situation where we where we experiment for good or or, or bad the 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 arts the um, I don't know if, if if you don't have an issue I can I can start an experience. Yes, there is no problem. Oh, okay, give me give me a few a few. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Hi. Um. I can hear you. I think you have problem with your mic, with your microphone. Can I hear myself? Hola. Hi. Can I hear myself? Just we're going to talk about if you want about your day or about the content that we are received from the classes. In my case, today we received training. An hour after, I uh, I ask uh, in the app to to client service what happened uh, with um, with the food uh, and it's able, and they told me that they had a a delay uh, because uh, there is too much people ordering uh, to the same restaurant and. Um, it, it passed another 30 minutes uh, at this. Uh, so I had 90 minutes waiting for my food. And, uh, and again, I, I asked it again, and they sent me the same, they, the same answer. After that 30 minutes, I was, uh, I, um, it was almost 10 p.m., like uh, 9.30. And my food arrived 30 minutes after to that. So I, I wait like two hours and 30 minutes for my for my food and so i think that um uh, that even is is the right price the despite uh, is is a right price is a right place but i think that uh, the the right time and the right condition of the food because it was cold uh, so i think that I, it, it was not the best That that was uh, dinner. Uh -huh. it, it was dinner. Yeah, uh -huh. it, it, it was on on Friday, and I know. So I, I um that that uh, because it's Friday and because uh, too too many people is ordering from the same place, it could delay. Uh, a few minutes or, or or a few times, but uh, I have. I never imagined that it will that it will last two hours, two hours and thirty minutes to wait for to wait uh, waiting for for the food. Oh yeah, I understand. I understand you. Mm -hmm. I I had a, a same situation mm -hmm. um, with a um up up service. I ordered. Uh, to 2 p.m. 
the the place and that I I have uh, I am ordering it was uh, near near to me as um one kilometer or one and a half but the the deliver was one hour and a half after the, uh yeah. after I, I I I put my order when I when I called the, the at the restaurant and they told me that that problem uh, they haven't they haven't uh, nothing nothing uh, did, that problem was a uh, uh, up up service no the restaurant and I I, I was um, I was angry about that but I can I can do anything. Only that. Um, I remember a time in the last vacation that we went with a group of friends. We went to order some food from Pueblo from Peru, and I remember that we saw the in we first saw in the the page of Pedro ya, and we saw the price and it, the the combo was like thirty three dollars, but then we. Uh, we tried to to see in the Pollo Campero website, and we saw that the same combo was uh, more more cheaper. It was twenty nine dollar, but um, in the website, but in the website we don't we don't have like a lot of information about the quantity. So we decided to talk, and we discovered that uh, the same combo uh, was offered like. Twenty-eight dollars, uh, twenty-eight dollars, um, and finally, when I don't remember if the food takes too long, to take too, too many, it takes uh, the order takes uh, uh, too much time. But when the 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 repartidor, the the food delivery, the delivery guy came. Uh, he said that the order was twenty six dollar, and we were very confused. But at least, what we we saved some money. We don't know how. We ah, uh, we we saw that the, the we passed to presuperstar thirty two dollars to only spend twenty eight dollars. So what happened? Mm -hmm. No, I, I I think that the, that um the apps like uh, for delivery or for are the best examples in in terms of lo or or logistics and at the same time at least one person has has had uh, a bad experience with that because there there is too many problems and too many and sometimes there are um. So I think that uh, uh, at the beginning I had other experiences like that, like they they say you uh, one time I was ordering a, a, a breakfast, and in the morning um, and in the morning first they said me that uh, the that the the food uh, the, the the order uh, will arrive in 30, 40 minutes. At the end of the of the thirty, uh, the end of the forty minutes, it seems that it has a problem, and and, and it will delay um, thirty minutes more. Uh, almost uh, the first forty minutes and twenty minutes after, uh, almost an hour, uh, the pronto. Um, I don't know how you say it, but it says that, that the. Uh, that the order was cancelled uh, because because the restaurant doesn't uh, didn't have service uh, anymore and so uh, and after 
have been waiting. I I have uh, I I was waiting for for an hour. And so I was I I was too much I was so much hungry. And because of that I think that the they is um is a bad service. All, all the, the, the or the most part of logistics here uh, in the country, the, the the apps like before was Hugo, now it's Pedidos Ya, yeah, and and all of that uh, is is very bad service. All right, everybody come back. Yes. Okay. Well, the idea of uh, interacting definitely with someone is to start warming up for the exercises, right? So I hope, I mean, I'm not going to ask you to report anything that you talk about because, I mean, it was a free topic conversation. So it, we could have talked about anything. All right. So we're going to start with this lesson, building vocabulary. We have logistics, supplies, <laughs> procurement. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. Give me one second. Let me double check because I already found it. But, oh yeah, procurement, I guess. Let me see. Yeah, it's a very new word, if you ask me. Yeah, definitely. Procurement. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> it says procurement. Probably. Not very, wait, wait a second, not very. Oh no, my internet is failing. Wait a minute. Procurement. Also, oh, that's how they pronounce it. Okay. That's all right. So they say logistics, supply, procurement, distribution, maintenance, inventory management, inventors management, and supply chain. Chain, chain. All right, then we have the concepts. Okay, so it's just much this terms related to logistics and their meanings. Process of supplying goods to a store or other businesses that sell to customers. The network created among different companies producing and distributing products. The ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of a company's location. The coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. The process of keeping something in good condition. The act of obtaining or buying goods and services the amount of a good or service offered for sale. Okay, try to analyze and try to obviously match the number with the right meaning. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes so that you can give it a try, try to do it. Probably you're not gonna be very certain. I mean, in case you still have doubts uh, about words, the problem you're not very familiar with, and we can discuss, but try to 
Yeah, try to match the meaning and the terms, okay? The logistic terms. All right, I'm gonna give you like two or three minutes. Try to do your best, try to match as accurate as possible this terms and the meaning. All right, work on it.
All right, done. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Okay, logistic. Oh, wait a second. We're going to go with the definitions instead because otherwise we're gonna get confused. Process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. What is it? Logistics, supply, procurement, I... distribution, maintenance, inventory management, or supply chain? I put distribution. Distribution. Process of supplying goods to store and other businesses to sell to consumers. So that would be number four. Yes. Okay. Anybody has anything different? Nope. All right. The network created among different companies producing and distributing product. Number one, system, logistic. Logistic, the network created among different companies producing and distributing product. Logistic, that's it. I put supply chain. Okay, that would be number seven. Anybody has anything different? Yeah, it's a supply chain because it's a network. Okay, logistic has more with moving goods, right? Okay, the ongoing process of moving parts or sorry, moving parts and products into and out of a company's location. I put the logistics. That would be logistics. That would be number one. Okay, the coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supply. Inventory management. Inventory management? Anybody has anything different? Okay, let's just skip this one. Let's go to the process of keeping something in good conditions. I guess this is easier one. Mm -hmm. It's maintenance. Yeah, that would be maintenance. All right. The act of obtaining and buying goods and services. Is procurement. Procurements, yes, that would be number three. And the amount of good and service offered for sale. Supplies. Supply. Mm, yes, yes, that would be number two. So here we got the the missing number, but we did it right here. That was inventory. Coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, and supplies. Though the definition is not very clear, you ask me. Number yes, because six. I put number six, where it is number one, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. The process of supplying. Yeah, but I guess inventory management is the act of counting or measuring what's the storage, right? All right. Supplying goods or storing other businesses that sell to consumers, okay. The network created among different companies producing and distributing products. The ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of a company's location. The coordination of an operation involving many people facility. By the nice. things that we talked the last class, logistics, Sounds to me like the coordination of operation by many people facilities or supplies. By moving. 
by moving goods from one place to another. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, this 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 tool, I'm not very convinced if I if I'm honest. Yeah. Process of keeping something you can yeah, that would it's obvious the act of obtaining buying good services, recommends and the amount of good services offered for sale. Yes. Yeah, just because this the ongoing process of moving parts and products just because of movement. So that most likely would be logistic. Right. But that's when it's still not very convinced. All right. Let me see. Okay, try to define try to tell your partner what you understand for each of this uh process or how you would interpret if you don't have to tell your partners exactly the definition that the book provides probably you can tell with your own words okay maybe yeah we're gonna spend a couple of minutes on this activity but try to or try to find another definition that is easier for you to remember that is better and accurate all right let's see let's do this with some partners
teacher. Um, oh, she is. Hello, teacher. Uh, so we have to confirm what are the instructions for this for this activity. Yes. Tell me. Yeah, you just have to uh, double check the the terms. Sorry, the terms, and if you can have a a similar definition, maybe you can Google it, or you can just come up with a similar definition or an easier definition in your own words. with the word on the box. So I have problems to to share the screen, but it's in the chat, the 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 image. Let me know if you can see. Just again. Okay. Um, I think that we have to 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 talk about the definition. Those words. Yes. And supplies. In our own words, what do we understand by those meanings? We can choose one, everyone. I understand by logistics. I put a number according to the set. Are, are, are you agree? For example, logistic, according that, the ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of a company's location. Mm -hmm. This is the, the the logistics. Yeah. Do you have process? It's location. So I think that is uh -huh, the, the ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of the company's location. So this applies uh -huh, so to the consumer and and the producer uh -huh. I think that in simple words logistic is like moving one thing from one place to another mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that's good and supplies Like products. Supply chain is... Supply products. Mm -hmm. no. The amount of good of service 
offer for sale. Basically, basically the supplies are what you are selling. I think that the supply is when you are a company that produce and, and not all the companies are manufacturers. But I think that a, a supply, when you when you talk about supply chain, or the idea that I have is when a company produce uh, is in charge to produce some uh, the um, the product. So I think that the supply chain applies most of the time oh, when, when you are what a manufacturer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just, just said uh, the supply chain is, is different that only supplies us. Supply chain uh, if uh, is if the company produce the product. Mm -hmm. Uh Aha, uh -huh. I think that supplies in general is is when a company produce. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Procurement. The act of obtaining or buying goods. Procurement is uh, in Spanish, el departamento de compras. Mm -hmm. Right. ¿Verdad que sí? Mm -hmm. Procurement. So I think that it is, is, is related to the supply. So in this case, if we are talking about logistics, all this related. But I think that uh -huh, the, the, the procurement department is, is very important. Especially if you are a manufacturer. Yeah. Distribution. Process of supplying goods to stores, another business to sell that the consumer. Yes, right. Uh -huh. the, the distribution is like the, uh, the, the last part of the logistics, I think. That is when the, uh, because it starts with the supplies, is when you will um catch the your 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 supplies your materials you will you will you will be manufacturing and after that you that you have the the final product you go to uh, with the distribution to to the final consumer yeah distribution and maintenance in my job uh, this area is called facilities. Facilities is, is maintenance. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I think that is in this related uh, because something maintenance uh, is very uh, is um, it looks like a small department, but it's too many things and too many uh assignments that they, they they should do especially it depends especially of the of the size of the company right because in yeah. maintenance you have all the the um how do you say the the people in charge of uh of cleaning of electrical infrastructure physical infrastructure and, and there are so many things there, there are they are facilities Maintenance. Mm -hmm. 
the the facilities is more is uh, more more related that they are uh, in your work is like a is a, a logistics a company no. or something uh huh no only we keep um keeping working good good condition all the equipment ah okay Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Machineries too. Oh, okay. It, and because of that, you uh, maybe it, it is in the native facilities, right? Because it's more related to the infrastructure uh, and all the all the equipment that are needed to 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 operate. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's focused in in the. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the, the infrastructure yes infrastructure mm -hmm. yeah and inventory management mm -hmm. it's referred to a person Inventory management, in charge of inventories. Mm -hmm. Inventory manager, the others uh, six. No. Yeah, inventory management normally is an area, like, yeah. because I yeah. think that it depends on how much bigger. How, uh, it depends on the size of the size of the company. I think. Yeah. Mm hmm. And the other one is supply chain that we we were discussing before. That is supply yeah. chain is the network created amongst, amongst different companies producing and distributing products. Okay. Yeah. All right, now everybody's here. Yes. 
Okay, did you try to define the concepts and the terms in your own words or find it in a in an easier and more comprehensive way? Let me. Well, I found this definition probably they will help you remember easier. Let me just choose from this. This is what we where I know what I don't know why my internet is is telling me that it's unstable. So this is the chart that you were uh, discussing and trying to give definitions in your own words. Well, this I just got it from Google. The logistics describes the process of coordinating and moving resources, people, materials, inventors, and equipment from one location to a storage at the desired destination. The term logistics originated in the military, referring to the movement of equipment and supplies to troops in the field. So definitely, as you were saying, that is just moving goods, supplies, from one place, from place A to place B. Food, equipment, and other essential things that people need, especially when these are provided in large quantities. Those are supplies, right? They oh, we need food supplies, right? When it's school supplies. So the other one was so what's exactly procurement? Procurement involves every involved in obtaining the in on obtaining the goods and services a company needs to support. His daily operations include sourcing, negotiating terms, purchasing items, receiving and inspecting goods as necessary, and keeping records of all the steps in the process. So you were saying that's an area in your company called compras, I guess. And the action or process of supplying goods to stores and other business that sell to consumers, a manager has to choose a first type of distribution. So this is easy, I guess, because it's very similar to Spanish. And the process of maintaining or preserving someone or something or a state of being maintained. That's maintenance. Inventory management refers to the process of ordering and storing that's what I was saying, because uh, uh, the time we read that definition from the manual was not that clear. Inventory management refers to the process of ordering, storing, using, and selling a company's inventory. This includes the management of raw materials, component, and finished product, as well as warehousing and processing in such items, right? The storing and keeping those counter components or raw materials or finished material, finished products actually. So that's the inventory management. Then the supply chain is the interconnected journey. The raw material component is good to take before their assembly and sales to customers. So this is in the case of the industry, right? Because not everything needs to be assembled but they follow a process until they reach the final customer or the consumer. All right, so try to, yeah, you know, sometimes the, the books provide not very easy definition, is it? To remember definitions, but you can put them in more simple words so that you can remember what that refers to. And if you already have an idea, of course, it's a lot easier. Okay, questions. Is there any question? No? Pretty simple, pretty easy. Good. Well, I'm going to give you this task now. 
Okay, as I was mentioning at the beginning of the class, sometimes uh, it's good to have something extra. And this time I'm gonna send you a link of an activity that is not exactly related. This is like the breaks, you know, like the mini breaks to increase, to enrich vocabulary. Have you ever heard about phrasal verbs? Phrasal verbs are usually two words that work as a verb, okay? Usually it's related with the main part of the verb. So the, the, the main part, it's what, you know, the term is, right? So it's usually two words, or it can be even three words, verb, okay? So that's why they are called phrasal verbs. Let me give you the link and you work on the exercises and then we are going to compare. Okay. Make sure that you confirm if you can open it, okay? Let me know, please. Yes. Yes, it's it's work. Uh, it it's work. All right, nice. Work on it. I mean, make your biggest effort to complete it. You just have to match, read the sentence, try to catch the meaning, and then move the right phrase over. I'll give you some minutes to work on it.
All right, it's time to compare what we got. Let's see if we have similar or this correct answers. Hi, partners. Hi, sir. I got seven good and three bad. I have the the nine correct. Okay. The first one is it's more fun to go out with someone you don't know than go to on a blind date. Mm -hmm. The second one and the third one, I got one. I have in the second one, if you don't get along well with your boyfriends or girlfriend family, your relationship won't work out. And in the third one, it's good to date a lot of different people before you settle down with one person. The number four is after you break up with someone, you should try and stay friends. The fifth I have first day usually turn out to be a disaster. Relationships never work out when one person has to move away. Mm. The seven, you should never go back to someone you broke up with. Number eight, if you want to meet someone, it is a good idea to sign up for a class. And then the nine, when I when a close friend sends you an email, you should write back immediately. Yes. All right, how was the activity? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enriching vocabulary. You got it right? You got them all Most. right? Most of them. All right, good. Yes. Nice. So that's how phrase words work, you know. Usually two words, mainly base form of verb in a in a proposition it could be uh, a number as well but most of the time it's a verb in the proposition the word together to have a different meaning okay so that's a phrase of verb all right let's keep going Well, so we're discussing this already. Okay, this is the next exercise. The lesson presents. I bet you've seen it already. We have the manual, mm -hmm. so read the definitions below. Then complete the steps of the processes using words from the box. So inbound logistics concerns the relationship between companies and their suppliers. Mm -hmm. While outbound logistics deals with how companies get products to their customers. Okay. So we have definitely from suppliers to customers, inbound logistic and outbound logistic. 
I'm not quite sure what you have to do on these three boxes because to me it's more of common sense. I mean, from suppliers to customers. So you use those words, customer service, warehouse, transport, production, planning, and purchasing. Right, it says that you have to use this words. And we only have three boxes here, so. I mean, and we have five here, so I don't know where they go. Oh, what would you suggest? All right, let me let me show that from the PDF. I think you already checked it out. Okay, it's right here. It says read the definitions below, which is inbound logistics concerns to the relation between companies and their suppliers. So that's how the the companies communicate with the other companies in this case or other businesses that supply goods or raw material to them, right? So that yeah. is inbound logistic. And outbound logistic deals with how companies get products to their customers. So if you are talking about the inbound logistic, how would you set this five words in these two boxes, probably? If you're talking about outbound logistic, then you will have to use the same five words, but between these two boxes, because inbound is receiving from the suppliers to the companies, okay, and outbound it's from the companies to the customers. So I think that's how this diagram is intended to be completed. Using customer service, warehouse, transport, production, planning, purchasing. Yeah, I think it makes sense more that way. Check it out and try to locate this five words between these two boxes and then between these two boxes, this first two boxes when it talks about inbound logistic and these two boxes when it talks about outbound logistic. Okay, try to do your best. I'll give you some minutes to work on it so that we can just compare later. In case you have any question, yes, you may. You may ask.
All right. Ready? You have any idea? So imagine we are going from the suppliers to the consumers. So we're gonna use this too. So we are going to talk about inbound logistic. Let me get, by some reasons, I'm not quite sure what type of letter I should use. All right, customer service, warehouse, transport, production planning, and purchasing. Which warehouse. one? Uh, yes. I put yeah. warehouse. Warehouse. All right. Any other? Well, planning. Production planning? Yes. Uh -huh. mm. Production planning goes from the supplier or should go to the company that gets the the supplies? The first the spot or the second? Don't know. In the middle. <laughs> well, let's put it here. Production planning. Let's say it's a company that is going to produce the goods. The other one, okay, purchasing. Who does the purchasing? The supplier or the company? The customer. <laughs> <laughs> the final customer. But in this case, I think the company as well, right? The purchase. My internet keeps failing. I'm sorry. Okay. Transport? Who does the transport? The supplier or the company that buys the goods? or the raw material. Mm -hmm. The transport, who gives the transport to the, the goods? In this case, the supplier, Provides the transportation, I think. Transport and the customer service in this case. Who sells? The suppliers, definitely, right? So they got to give the customer service. This is in the case of the inbound logistic, right? Mm -hmm. What about the outbound logistic? Hmm, we're gonna choose another color. And uh, oh, oh yeah, here we can change the size of the letter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to say now the company is selling to the customers with the same terms. So definitely this would come here for the production planning for the customer will stay still here, right? Okay. So let's say. I guess the production planning is still stays in the company. 
and they have to have a warehouse and they have to provide also the customer service. So this, wait, wait a second. I'm oh, sorry, customer service. Mm -hmm. Anything else here? The transport? Most of the companies give the transport to the final customer. And then the customer does only the purchasing, I guess. Right? Did you get this concept? So the ones in the in this color, in the color purple, refer to the inbound logistics, and the ones in blue refer to the outbound logistics. According to this, concerns the relationship between companies in their suppliers and outbound logistics deals with how companies get products to their customers. Yes. Any question? Or you get any other idea how to do that? How those charts are related? Mm -hmm. I hear you. I'm all ears. By the way, does anybody work in a company where you have to deal with production or supply chain or anything? Not, not really. Not right? my case. Uh -huh. No, no I, I hear that everyone here is academic or in sales. Okay. Yeah, I think this would be the relationship. Do you feel my my connection is unstable? Do I get it stuck from time to time? Because it, it keeps telling me, like it keeps sending me this message that my internet connection is unstable. If that's the case, please let me know. All right. So, one second, please. Um, okay, before we move on, on to the next activity. Okay. My goodness. All right, now I'm gonna share a very similar activity to the previous one on this slide. I hope you find it useful. Just put the link right here. My goodness, my neighbors keep constructing their house. Okay, <laughs> so open this other link and let me know if you're able to see it. It works. Does it work? Okay, you can work in it and then we can compare.
Hi, well, dear, and my dear. Hello, hello. You finish already. No. Okay. Do you finish what did? Let me know when you finish. We have to work in the, in the box. In the link that teacher sent. Link? Yes. I finish. Okay. So we can do the conversation. Okay. Do you want to start or? Okay. Hi there. Do you need any help or are you just all or are you just looking? Actually, yes, you might be able to help. I'm looking for a new laptop. Have you got any that are really reliable? I have, ha I have had a lot of problems with the one I got at the moment. Okay, well, it will depend on your budget. Well, we have two with 20% off at the moment. The Acer S5 4920 and the Samsung R60. 
Right, and what's the difference between these two? Do they have similar specs? Well, the Samsung model of an entry-level model, it goes a Pentium dual core processor running at 1.4 gigahertz, which is fast enough for most applications. Also, you might struggle if you want to play really advanced games on it. The Acer processor runs at 2 gigahertz, which is really fast. The Acer also has twice as much RAM as the Samsung. That is 2 gigabytes as opposed to just one. Okay, and what's the storage capacity of each model? Okay, that is 80 gigabytes for the Samsung and 250 gigabytes for the HS. Okay. All right, done. Yes. Okay, no problems, no issues? Not at all. Not at all, all right. So the sales assistant right there, do you need? The number one what's do you need? Any. Any. Any help? Yes, they need any help or it's just looking. Actually, Four. yes. <laughs> you might be able to help when looking for exactly for a new laptop. Have you? What? Have you got uh, any that are really reliable? I've got lots of problems with the one I've got at the moment. Okay, well, it depends on your budget. We've got two with the 20% up at the moment. The Acer Aspire, blah, blah, blah. And what's the difference between these two? Do they have similar? Specs. Specs, right. Okay, it's more on the processor. Okay, it's got a Pentium dual core processor. Number five. Running. Running at 1.4 gigahertz, right? And the last one, okay, gigahertz. what's the yeah, gigahertz? And the last one, what's the storage capacity? That was easy, wasn't it? Yes. Since you guys are experts. So <laughs> that was no sweat whatsoever. All right. Just one last thing, one last thing. I will recommend everyone to take a look 
of the material to be studied. Okay, so this is the oncoming lesson right after this one. We're well, building vocabulary, so we're going to be talking about the three PL service providers. So this is third-party logistics. Obviously, this lesson, this unit is all about logistics, and all the terms refer to that, right? Mm -hmm. Or related, have to do with it. Okay, so take a look at this. Try to get familiar with the content, the vocabulary, the terms, the concepts. So that doesn't um, give you a headache in the class mm -hmm. itself. Though we're gonna be having these breaks, you know, to incorporate mm -hmm. and expand and enrich our vocabulary, either with this, mm -hmm. I mean, vocabulary to certain areas, structures, so that we can improve. All right, last but not least, let's have the attendance taken. Oh my God, I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top. That way, it's, uh, changes <laughs> everyone's position on the list. Carlos Alberto, Waldir, Vidal, Victor, Ronald, Roberto, Mario, Marley. Oh, no one is here. <laughs> Manuel. Magdiel. Hi. Present. Present. Uh -huh. Wake up. Okay. Luis Miguel. Present, teacher. Okay. Luis Javier. Present, teacher. Carla Ivania. Julissa. Present. Antonio. No, he hasn't connected at all. Hazel. Francisco, Fernando, Emerson, Elizabeth, Stephanie, Atilio, and Abigail. Here. Here. <laughs> okay. Well, I lost the track of the person who should be in the one on one session. Is anyone available or anyone interested or anyone needs to discuss anything? on the chat. Okay, Marilyn wants to stay for the one-on-one -on -one session. Is that you volunteering? <laughs> Apparently, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. No, no, le, no, no, le entendí, se le escucha cortado, no sé si mi señal. Okay, yes, I was I was telling Pero you. Si traba, hola. Okay, so the internet is not working very well. Marilyn si sí, está dispuesta a participar en la sesión de one on one. One white is low. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye. Gracias.